Uh, watch this. Why don't you know who I represent? I don't know who let you represent. We be the future, get used to it. Cause I don't really like to reminisce. Johnny Song, I'm coming in. St. John on the covenant. Put the ball up on the back, boy. You were saying how I'm running it. I got the DNA of Kings and the blood spill. I What's up, FCA family? I hope you guys are doing well today. Super excited to share this vlog with you. Uh, we've got another quarantine interview, but this time is with my boss, area director, Jason Mills. Uh, and he's going to be sharing a little bit more uh, about the ministry and how FCA San Marcos is growing. Uh, it's really cool insight. I mean, he's been on staff for 13 years. So I hope you guys enjoy the interview. How's it going, Jason? Good, Josh. How are you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. Uh, just Perfect. another beautiful day in quarantine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a wonderful day inside today. Why don't you introduce yourself um, for the people that are watching this video? Maybe they don't know who you are. Maybe they do. But uh, give us a little background, who you are, um, and maybe a little bit why you're on this video. My name's Jason. Um, I've been on staff with Fellowship of Christian Athletes for the last 13 years awesome. and uh, just have been able to see the ministry grow here in San Diego specifically and uh, would love just to share about what God's been doing and, and what's going on. So, yeah. Right. So 13 years, how did, uh, how did this all start? You know, it's, it's, uh, funny. I, uh, I graduated college with a degree in mechanical engineering and then went straight into working at a Christian camp, which have nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Uh, and it was through that, uh, and I started leading a Bible study, um, with the church we were going to at the time for a long time. I just felt like God was calling me into something other than working at the camp. So, uh, from there, I prayed about it. I checked out different opportunities. And a buddy of mine was working for FCA up in Orange County uh, while I went to seminary. And he said, why don't you give the guys in San Diego a call and see what happens? And so here we are 13 years later. So I just fell in love with the ministry. I love, I love that people get empowered to do their own ministry. I love to see the coaches using their influence with the students. I love the students, you know, taking ownership of the huddles. I, I just love the whole thing about God's kingdom growing and more people getting involved. It's cool. Yeah. That's right. That's right. For those of people watching, maybe they don't know exactly what you do within FCA. Like, would you, how would you describe your job title and maybe your role uh, with the well, I mean, it's weird, but I'm the area director. Uh, technically, I guess I'm Josh's supervisor or whatever. My boss, maybe. That's what I call him. Boss there man. you go. Boss man. Boss <laughs> man. It's funny. I have some people that used to work for me still call me boss man, and I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> so my job is to oversee all of North County Inland, San Diego. So it's like the 15 corridor from Scripps Ranch to the county line, basically. And we have several staff, Josh, uh, Chase Steves up in Fallbrook, Russ Douglas in Escondido. We've got some other ministry partners, Seth Lightfoot in Valley Center, and John Goodman, who's doing some awesome stuff in Escondido. And um, you know, it's my job to hire people and help grow the ministry uh, by working on it, not necessarily being in the schools like I used to be. So awesome. Awesome. So um, over the past 13 years, what's your uh, favorite memory that you've had with FCA? I love, like I said, I love seeing people take ownership. And one of my favorite memories was one, uh, maybe it's a, one of my favorites because it was right after I started, I went to the Mission Hills High School. And uh, I met Ryan Miller, who's still the huddle coach there. And yeah. uh, I was just checking huddles out because because uh, uh, Johnny D, the guy that hired me, gave me 14 huddles to start with and said, go grow the ministry. And so I went to go visit all the ones that were already running to kind of figure out what I was doing. And um, Ryan Miller was there. He introduced me to the kids that were running the huddle. And uh, to be perfectly honest, it was tiny. It was like four kids in the classroom. <laughs> yeah, I was bored. The kids were bored. I think Mr. <laughs> Miller was bored. Yeah. And, uh, and I asked him, I was like, hey, who's, who's running this deal next year? Because it was graduation time. And um, the kids were talking about going to college. And it's such a small room anyway. And uh, he was talking about, he's like, Mr. Miller said, there's this kid, Andy who um, they really wanted to run the huddle. And so, all right, he didn't say a word, didn't do anything. So, but uh, I challenged him over the summer. We had a couple of meetings and he stepped up and, and uh, his leadership at Mission Hills really blew it up from three kids sad in a classroom to not fitting in a classroom and having to meet in a gym. So it was really cool to see that transformation. That's awesome. So speaking of that, Mission Hills is one of my campuses in San Marcos. So kind of speaking of San Marcos, how have you seen San Marcos grow from when you first came on staff to where we're at now? Uh, what's that been like? It's, it's, been, it's been awesome just to see the growth. Uh, 
as more and more people get involved and, you know, the staff grows and everything else. I remember that first couple of years meeting you as a sixth grader was pretty hilarious. Right. Um, not knowing what, you know, that one day you'd be on staff. Um, but did I? <laughs> I don't think anybody did, but we had, we had Mission Hills and Woodland Park when I started and they were already running. Um, Robert Prescott, who's still involved and an awesome coach and teacher still doing FCA was doing it. And, uh, Ryan Miller, who's still involved at Mission Hills, but we didn't have anything going at San Marcos. And one of the teachers at Woodland Park, her name was uh, Mrs. Mark Rander. She had kids, her kids went to San Marcos. And so she had an affinity and wanted to see FCA get started there. And so she introduced me to some kids and, and, uh, and everything else. And, and uh, it took me a little while to like, you know, network around and find a teacher and, and poof, all of a sudden we're, we're doing FCA and just seen some awesome leaders come out of that. Some kids go straight into ministry out of college from there. And um, that's been really cool to see it just continue to grow and expand. You know, it was, uh, it was Jordan Dietz came in and probably about three or four years after I'd been running it and he helped grow the ministry, got into, you know, we got into San Alejo and we got, you know, the huddles were bigger. And then, you know, as Jordan transitioned into the County spot, Josh came in and he's been able to put his own stamp on it. It's just been awesome to see the community grow and rally around FCA and all the different families involved. It's really cool. It's really cool. Guys, those of you that are watching this, uh, give this guy a round of applause if you can. I mean, he has like pioneered and got San Marcos like off the ground. Um, so Jason, we're so thankful for you and what you do for our ministry and uh, just kind of planting those seeds and being faithful um, to watch what you have planted now, look what it is, um, in all those areas. So, um, super stoked to be a part of it and be under you and have you supervise me. Um, it's, it's the best. I love it. So, um, well, Hey, thanks for being on this quarantine interview. Um, loved having you and loved getting to hear a little bit about your story with FCA. So appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks Josh. Appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that interview. Jason is such a rad guy and I love working for him or having him as my supervisor, as we said in the interview. Um, he has such a rad heart and such a rad vision for the ministry. Um, so it's cool to be under someone's leadership like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment if you enjoyed it and pass it along to someone else. Have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you on the next vlog.